Hello, everyone. Um, I'm going to talk about a unified particle optimization framework for uh, uh, scalable basic sampling. And this is a uh, joint work with uh, uh, some folks from Duke University. Sorry, I, I cannot see the slides so here, so I, I have to look at it here. So, uh, so base sampling is ubiqu ubiqu ubiquitous in uh, machine learning nowadays, especially in uh, deep learning. Um, so there has been a lot of uh, uh, a number of applications in uh, deep, uh, neural, ne neural network. For example, we can use Bayesian uh, sampling to model the uncertainty, and also there has been work to apply sampling to in deep generative models and also deep reinforcement learning. Um, so among these, uh, the, the many of uh, Bayesian sampling methods, probably the most popular two are the stochastic gradient MCMC and also the stain relational gradient descent. And uh, one contribution of our work is to pro pro uh, propose a unified framework to unify these two uh, sampling methods. And let me first give you some uh, background about uh, basing sampling and uh, stochastic gradient MCMC. So we, ha we have data D, uh, which consists of N, N point data points, and we have a model with a model parameter P of theta, and we also have the likelihood, which is denoted as P of the given theta, and it's, uh, it can be de decomposed as a product of the n uh, individual likelihoods. And our, the task in Bayesian sampling is to compute the uh, post state distribution, P of theta given d, which is proportional to the uh, prior uh, times the likelihood, and as a result, we can also decompose it in as a product of n plus one terms. And SGMCMC is a scalable basis and sampling methods that uh, you utilize the stochastic gradient of the log uh, post there. Uh, so essentially, we have to define a term which we call stochastic potential energy, which is uh, computed using a mini batch of size n uh, the, uh, data. And essentially, it is uh, the negative uh, log post there and plus a, a, a constant, right? Uh, so uh, based on this, uh, probably the simplest uh, method, uh, Bayesian uh, SEMCMC method is called stochastic gradient Langevin dynamics. And it's essentially uh, very similar to, to uh, the, the stochastic gradient descent, right, for optimization, but except that for each iteration, uh, except uh, going through the stochastic direction, we also have some additional noise, which is denoted as zeta here. So zeta here is a random sample from a Gaussian distribution, and h here is, is the, is the uh, step size, right? Uh, so this uh, constitutes the SGLD, and we can see that essentially it is a, a Markov chain-based method, so saying that uh, the current sample is uh, uh, only can, uh, depends on the last sample, right? Um, so, in contrast, the S, S, uh, state in relation to gradient descent is it is a, a particle optimization uh, uh, sampling algorithm, meaning that it is uh, uh, initially we we will have m points theta one to theta m, and then these these points are called particles and. Then in the, in the iteration, we will update these particles iteratively following this, uh, this update equation. So here, uh, this phi here is a function that uh, basically describes the, the update direction for each of the particles, right? And so in, in SVGD, this phi is defined as a function such that it makes the KL divergence between uh, the Q and P of theta, uh, P, P theta given D uh, decrease maximum, uh, maximally. Uh, so here this Q is the density formed by the particles in the ne ne next iteration, right? Uh, so uh, also this phi is, is, is a function that is restricted to a, a, a class of functions. So uh, uh, when this F is, an, is defined as an RKHS induced by a kernel, say K here, uh, the SVGD can essentially, uh, or, or the phi, uh, function in SVGD essentially has a closed form solution, right? So it is now this this phi 
just looks like this equation here. So essentially, it has two terms. Um, uh, one is the uh, essentially the uh, we we can consider it as a kernel combination, uh, a weighted combination of the law of there. So so this term makes the uh, the particles to focus on the uh, high density regions, right? So there's another another part, uh, term which is the gradient of the uh, the, the kernel function, and this, this term is called a repulsive force, and it, it has the impact of making the, the particles to be far away from each other. Right? So, uh, yeah. And then we can, th these two figures basically summarize the, the, the characterization of these two algorithms, and we can see that they are kind of different, and the question is that what's the relationship between this uh, to algorithms, and we, in our paper, we uh, we give an answer saying that it's GMCMC and it's VGD are actually uh, the numerical solutions to what is known as forces then gradient flows. Um, so what is then gradient flow? Uh, intuitively, uh, think about uh, a landscape in the space of probability measures, which is uh, uh, infinite dimensional space. And so, if we place a point, a particle at an initial point, and this point would, would these particles would flow to one of the local minimums, right? So this local minimum is also known as the high, uh, low uh, low energy region. And so uh, we can consider the 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 moving of the mo movement of the point as a curve in the in the landscape, and this curve or trajectory essentially describes the uh, the grade uh, it, it is a constitutes a gradient flow or what's a state gradient flow, and also it, the distance between this uh, of the elements in in this curve is described by the or defined by the second order what's a state distance, which is essentially the minimum minimum of the expected this uh, difference between all of the joint distribution of theta and theta prime, right? So here, this gamma is is an element of is essentially the joint distribution of uh, of theta and theta prime, and capital gamma is the is uh, all of the the set of the such uh, joint distributions. And so, mathematically, we can uh, define the what's the gradient flow as uh, partial differential equations which describes the evolution of the probability distributions over time. And it has the, a simple form uh, as this equation. And in this equation, we, uh, this E is, is a functional that defines the, the landscape and it, is, it maps uh, probability measures to a, to a real value. And is essentially, it, uh, visually is equivalent to the landscape we just saw. And also, this delta E uh, divided by this delta mu is, is what is known as the first variation of, of a functional E. And we can consider this as the gradient or the direction of the, the, the particle that f flows. Right. And um, so our conclusion is that SGMCMC and SVGD corresponds to different energy functionals. And uh, I I if we divide, uh, so, th so they have different uh, energy functionals, but their stationary distribution are the same, which is essentially equal to our, our post-state distribution, right? And now, the s calculating this, the post-state distribution now reduced to solving this uh, uh, PDE, right? But typically, this PD PDE is feasible to solve. So we, in the paper, we propose two methods uh, to solve this PDE, which is, is called great discrete gradient flows, and also the block methods. Uh, for the sake of time, I will just describe the discrete gradient flow here. Um, so this discrete gradient flow, the idea is, um, uh, in, uh, let's look at the, this, this landscape here. So for example, uh, we, we can assume this the uh, yellow curve is the ground truth solution, or the true solution of the PDE, and we, we, we would, uh, to, to solve this, we, we, don't, we, we cannot solve this, right? Uh, but then the discrete gradient flow 
is to find a set of intermediate points around this cur curve, and then we just connect them together to, to, find, uh, to, to form a piecewise linear cur a curve, and which is the, uh, which is the rare one. And we, we will use this rare one to approximate the, the true solution of the PDG. And this is the idea of, of the discrete gradient flow. And so now the problem is how can we solve the or define the intermediate points? So uh, previous work or theory has already so that this can be done by the solving this optimization problem, which is uh, so mu, mu k plus one, uh, subscript H is 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 the uh, are the intermediate points that we we, we need to solve, and uh, this this can be done by optimizing this of uh, uh, minimization problem, which has two terms. One term is essentially the energy, right? We want the energy to be maximum, uh, and also there's another term which is uh, the the second order gradient flow. Uh, second or sorry, second order. Uh, what is the uh, distance between the mu and the previous uh, points? And so the now we that's good news. We we, we can solve. We, we just if if we can solve this equation one, then we can get the discrete gradient flow. But the problem is that this equation one is still uh, infeasible infeasible to solve because the the mu case are uh, infinite. Uh, Dimensional, dimensional objects. So uh, we, then we propose a, a, a solution for this, which is to use the, the particle to approximate the continuous density function. All right. So this is when the particle of optimization comes in. Um, uh, so essentially, we, we just use a, a set of m particles, which is denoted as theta 1 to theta m. <coughs> And we use this the discrete this distributions to approximate this continuous time density, and then if we just substitute this mu k, uh, uh, the approximation of mu k into equation one, we, we we can now then solving equation one is then essentially uh, requires us to solve uh, the optimal particles theta k, right? So now we we can just use the uh, typical. Uh, or standard gradient descent algorithms to 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 solve for the the uh, particles. So which is the we we what we, we need is the gradient of this f with respect to the particles, right? So uh, now I am going to uh, specify what 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 this uh, gradient looks like for the particles in SGMMC, right? So uh, and I will focus on SGLD. Which is uh, has uh, has the and is functional uh, defined as the KR divergence between uh, mu and p of theta given d, and it can de again we decompose this KR divergence into two terms e1 and e2, and if we use the particle approximation to approximate this mu, then we the gradient of this e1 with respect to the particle is uh, very easy to derive, and now the problem is. How can we get the gradient of this F1 with respect to the particles? Because this F1 contains a term which is the uh, water state distance, and it's, it doesn't it doesn't seem to be easy to get the gradient uh, from from that term. And so in our paper, we saw that this uh, uh, the gradient of F1 uh, with respect to the uh, particles it essentially has th this form. And so this essentially ha is very similar to SVGD, the the great the update equation of S SVGD using an RB RBF kernel, and this here this Cij is uh, the uh, Euclidean distance between particles i and j, and we can see that this term, uh, uh, the great this gradient term would have two uh, uh, two two per uh, performance so. One is that if uh, the if the two two particles are too away from each other, say Cij is larger than lambda, then we can check that uh, essentially this gradient has a pooling effect, uh, which means the Pij will be pulled together close to the previous uh, particles. And if the two particles are too close to each other, 
So CIJ is less than lambda, and this this uh, gradient form will, will have a pushing effect, which means that the particles will be pushed away from the previous particles. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, th this is the update equations for uh, or, or, or the 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 uh, water stain gradient flow uh, explanation for SGMGMC, and also the the, the particle optimization uh, optimization based uh, algorithms. And but for SVGD, we can similarly apply for the same trick, but unfortunately, if we just Apply uh, the the great discrete gradient flow is not infe uh, is infeasible for SVGD because uh, we can show that the fun functional energy is does not have a closed form for SVGD. But uh, we, but instead we can solve this by another method called block method, and it leads to the it would lead to the SG exactly the same SVGD of the equation, but uh, the under underlying di distance. Measures is no longer measured by the uh, versus the stain distance, and essentially, uh, actually, is is measured by what another di variance called h versus stain distance. And for uh, interest, for uh, you can refer to this paper. And so I'm not going to detail in this method, but uh, the de all the de details are given in the paper, and you are welcome to uh, come to the post post there as well. Um, so now the com we can get a uh, so this this equation shows the uh, SGMC, HLD shown by the discrete gradient flow right and because SGMCMC and SVGD are all versus stain gradient flows we can easily combine the other equations to form a, a new algorithm which we call it particle interacted SGLD so or pi SGLD and now we are going to show some experimental results for to compare these uh, methods. So the second, the first row is the ground truth, the distributions and the column, oh, sorry, column. And the second column is the uh, results for uh, SGL, a standard SGLD. And the third, third column are the results for uh, the SGLD shown by the uh, discrete gradient flow. And the four column is other results of SGLD so for another method called block methods and this column is corresponds to the result of SVGD and the last column are the results for uh, the pi SGLD the combination of SGLD and SVGD and we can see essentially <coughs> we can see that pi SGLD seems to perform the best um, and also this WSGLD, it seems to overestimate the uh, variance. But <clears throat> we, we saw that if the particles are small enough, then it is actually it can perform, perform quite well. And we also use the methods to, uh, to model uh, uncertainty in deep neural network. So we test it on P4 neural network. And we, these are the, on the MDS data set, and we got the results and compared to uh, existing methods, including the optimization methods. And we see that the pi SGLD it has the, obtains the lowest uh, test error, error rate. Um, yeah, we also test it on convolution neural network and similar uh, observations are, uh, are obtained. And basically the pi SGLD has the, it performs the best and also, interestingly, this uh, optimization-based method seems to have a, a smaller training loss, and but we got a, 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 a worse a test, testing accuracy, right? So this kind of indicate that the optimization method is kind of uh, uh, overfitting. Also, the we have tested in recurrent neural network for language modeling. Uh, we test, we, we measure the perplexity of the model, and again, the pi S SGLD seems to perform the best. Yep, uh, this is the summary. Uh, we propose a unified SGMCMC and SVGD uh, 
we unify these two algorithms by inter interpreting them as uh, what's a stain gradient flow, and we propose particle-based approximations for uh, WGF first, and also uh, we, we, uh, we, we, we propose a simple uh, extension of SGLD by combining it with uh, SVGD, and we got a better performance on the Bayesian learning of neural networks. And for uh, more details, welcome to our, our poster. Thank you. Thank you.